So we go to pricing strategy. The first one here is cost plus pricing. This is how to set prices that generate a profit. One method is used using cost plus pricing or cost based pricing. It is simple and involves adding up a markup. So you use your markup and you know your markup already. Yeah. So you add your markup, you add it with the price, then that is your selling price. So that allows the business to make profit. Okay. Two, penetration pricing. When you talk about penetration pricing, we're talking about a pricing strategy that, that makes a business to set a lower price on a new product. Mm. On a new product to mm. gain customers. Mm. That is what penetration pricing is. So the aim of this strategy is to get the product established in the market. Once this objective has been achieved, the price slowly increases to higher level. There are two main reasons why a business might use this strategy. One, it is hoped that consumers get into the habit of buying the product when the price is low. So they get used to buying that product. So gradually you increase the price. But they, would, they get emotionally attached already, so they wouldn't want to stop buying, even if the price is increasing. Mm. Large retailers and other bulk buyers are more likely to show an interest in product if it is generously priced. Another reason why you can set a low price or use penetration pricing is that it attracts retailers. They want to buy at a lower price because it allows them to sell at a slightly higher price than the, the, the cost price. Sure. The third one, competitive competition-based pricing. Here, it means you are selling your product based on uh, you are selling your product at almost the same as your competitors, mm. or slightly lower than your competitors. I'm going to read anyway. Competition-based pricing. Some businesses take a close look at what their rivals are charging when setting their price. This is called competition-based pricing or competitive pricing, and it's likely to be used by businesses operating in very competitive markets. One approach is to charge the same price as competitors. The advantage for the, of this strategy is that a price war is likely to be avoided. It is considered to be a safe pricing strategy. Another approach is for the market leader to sell the price and all other follows. This is called price leadership. The leader is likely to be the largest or the most dominant firm in the industry. It may also be the lowest cost producer. Because that follow the leaders, the leader may have higher costs and therefore have to accept lower profit margins. In competitive, pri in competitive markets, where prices are very, all very similar. Businesses are more likely to engage in a non-pricing competition. Mm. This might involve special promotions or strategies designed to differentiate the product. Finally, a business might lower its price for a temporary period to drive out competitors or competition. This is called predatory pricing. I explained that already. The aim is to lower, uh, the aim is to lower prices for a period of time to make it difficult for rivals to compete. If the strategy worked, some rivals would eventually leave the market and allow others to raise their price again. So what's that However, mean? I'm going to explain, please. However, the predator will now have a larger market share. So, competitive-based pricing means you are charging. You are before you make before you set your price, you check on competitors. You check the price competitors are selling. So you charge you set your price according to those of your competitors. That is sure. what competitive-based pricing is, or competitive pricing. Mm -hmm. So from there, the advantage is that there's not going to be price war. We are all selling the same, at the same price. So nobody's charging higher than me and nobody's charging lower. That is price war. Mm -hmm. Do you get it here? Mm -hmm. The advantage about competitive pricing is that it avoids price war, which means some people are not going to charge higher or lower to gain customers. Is it clear? Sure. Aside that, we have what we call... In, so they say in a competitive, price, in a competitive market, in a, when competitive pricing is being used, most of the time when we have competitive pricing, businesses will try to use a non-competitive, non-price competition, mm. like product differentiation, finding a USP for your product, using advertisements. Sure. You would not increase price, but rather you find a way to attract customers mm. by not using price work. So you try to use other ways, other methods to, sell, to, to, to convince, to convince customers. customers aside price. That mm. is non-price competition. Mm. That allows you to differentiate your product. You might use a unique selling point, maybe branding or whatever. It so it's is. not all about price. It's all about the for competitive pricing. You mm. cannot use it's competitive pricing. It means you are charging almost yeah. the same price. So there's no price war. The only thing you could do is you find a way to attract customers without so, price, like new services, maybe? new services, adding value, whatever you can, new features, new whatever uses. you can aside price. Mm. Is it clear? Yeah. And they talked about destroyer or predatory pricing. Mm. Here, this is when, uh, then we have the price leader. For mm. price leader, we're talking about the largest business in the market or the most dominant business in the market. Because they, have, they are able to reduce their own cost. 
they set the price and others have to follow. Yeah. If you are not following their price, if you are not setting the price the same as they have set their price, you might be losing out. Yes. So that is price leadership. I think it's clear. Okay. Then we have the predatory pricing, where a, a business is aiming at taking competitors off the market With by, by charging a lower price. Mm -hmm. and as soon as lower charged, price than the competition. Lower price than what the market is selling, the market price. Mm -hmm. So this allows consumers, customers to start buying from that business. Mm -hmm. And as time goes on, those that are unable to, you know, to, to sell at, those pri at that price will leave the market. And as soon as they leave the market, the yeah. market share increases for those, mm -hmm. for the business that, is, that has that motive. Mm -hmm. Then it can increase its price again. Yeah. So most of the time, predatory pricing might lead to monopoly. Is it clear? Clear. So that's about competitive that pricing. A cheeky way to to to, to, to reduce competition. competition. Yeah, mm. you get it. The third one, price skimming or creaming. For price skimming, it simply means that you set a higher price at the initial stage of the product mm. to to make to you know to give consumers the perception that the product is of great quality. Mm. Is it clear? Sure. So as soon as maybe as soon as you are you have generated high revenue, the you can start reducing the price because mm. if the if the price is high, competitors will have an high on it too. Mm. So before competitors start coming into the market, yeah. you have really made your own. You have covered up for your cost. Sure. Do you understand what penetration or what price scheming is? Mm. Is it clear, please? Yeah. Then we have promotional pricing. For promotional pricing, these are when you try to to sell at a reduced price. Mm. Lowering price for a product for a short period of time. Short period like time. giving discount on the, just find a way to sell your product yeah. without with customers being able to afford them having been able to afford them mm. that is promotional pricing mm. so prices may be called for a number of reasons to get rid of old stock so sometimes they do promotional service because the products are getting old they need to bring new products in into mm. the stock yeah so they sell them at a reduced price to generate some cash quickly to help solve a cash flow problem mm. sometimes you have to sell off so that you can generate revenue yeah generate cash to generate renewed interest in an existing product you want customers to have interest again in the, in the product that they stop mm. buying yeah to attempt to win a larger share of the market by encouraging brand switching so you want to attract more customers to your product by making them to stop buying from your competitors mm. that's these are the reasons why there's promotional pricing is it clear okay. the next one is discounts and sales Businesses often cut prices for a short period of time. They have sales where goods are sold below the standard price. Some of these sales are seasonal. So, yeah, for discount, a reduced, a certain percentage are taken away from the initial price. That is discounting. Is it clear? Yeah. To encourage sales. Then we have psychological pricing. For psychological pricing, it means you are selling, you, you charge a price that is slightly below a whole number. So instead of charging for, charging for $1, you charge for 0 0.99. What's the difference? What's the difference? But to you, you think you are not paying one dollar. You are paying less. So it's working on your side. It's only one uh, pound. Less. But you are paying. You are not paying one dollar. That's the point. Mm. So it works with your side. So it makes customers to feel that they are not paying large amount, large amount of money on the product. Okay. You get it. Mm. It's a trickish way to you know, to, to make customers think that they are paying lower for lower price for a product. Sure. Is it clear? Mm. Then we have the loss lose leaders. Some products are sold at a price lower than cost. These are called loss leaders, not price leaders, mm. and are popular with supermarkets. The objective of this strategy is to draw customers into a store where they will buy the loss leader. Once in the store, it is hoped that customers buy other products. Overall, this will generate a profit. Okay, well. What they do is this. Mm. They sell a product at a price lower than the, the market price, mm. lower than even the cost. But the, the objective is to attract you to their store. Mm. And then as soon as you go into their store, there are other products you would want to buy mm. that would allow them to generate profit. We call them loss leaders. Do you get it? Yeah. The, product is, the product is a loss leader. Yeah. It's a loss leader because similar products are sold above the, price, above the cost price. But yeah. the product itself is being sold below the cost price. Mm. It's a loss product. Sure. But being attracted to that loss product allows you to buy other products in that supermarket mm. that will generate more revenue for the business. Sure. That is what we call loss leader. Is it, mm. Do you get the strategy? Yeah, I get it. The, the objective is to attract customers mm. to, a, to a supermarket. 
True. to buy that product that is lost and to buy other products that will generate more revenue. Mm. Is it clear? Basically, buying the main product to buy more product. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Yeah. So those are pricing strategies. Basically, so, make 